Hey guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to go through some of the things I'm doing for Portugal 70.3 in just under three weeks time. Um, so myself and Gukdo Morgans from Top Step Try, we've put a plan together in place to not only get some really good workouts in and get my body ready for 70.3 efforts, um, but also to allow my body to rest and recover after 10B as well. So not doing too much so that my body is getting overworked then also adding some of the things in like yoga, stretching, uh, some good rest days so that I'm getting a really good balance ready for three weeks time. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through some of the swimming I'm doing, some of the running and some of the bike, um, some with the clubs, some on my own, some virtually on Zwift, like behind me. And at the end of this week as well, I've got a local triathlon race, which is run by Celtic Tri, one of the local clubs which I'm part of. So that'll be a separate video, but I'm gonna try and incorporate that race into some of my training as well. It's worth noting as well, so with my eight till four, nine to five job, um, and, the wet, and the weather closing in, that I'm doing quite specific sort of workouts now. So, you know, hour-based turbo sessions or um, hill climbs for 45 minutes to an hour. So not just doing the longer stuff, trying to be a bit more specific in the workouts which I'm choosing and achieving. And then on that note as well, it's probably good to mention that Guto is now Super Series champion for Wales. So he managed to win the overall, which is really good. Um, so I trust him and um, hopefully with his knowledge as well, he can pass it on to me and hopefully do a good time. So yeah, come along with me for this week and hopefully we can pick up some things which you may find interesting or worth your time as well. So let's go. Okay, so just then a good 25 minute tempo effort there on threshold. So I missed a bit of yesterday's session. I've just done one today whilst I'm going to the club run. So I've got a nice six at six run with the very flat liners tonight. But I felt good, didn't do anything yesterday. So just bolted that 25 minute tempo on. Felt good, trainers feel not noticeably different but good easier to keep the speed so yeah happy days oh so just got back off the run i ended up doing 18k tonight a little bit more than what i wanted but uh really good session to be honest i was probably on for like an hour and 35 half marathon but uh no it was nice the club run was a little bit quicker than normal but uh good training i suppose so gonna have some food now got to swim in the morning and uh, bike tomorrow afternoon so uh yeah have some food have a nice bath soak the legs and uh, get to bed so that's monday done so it's tuesday morning you can't even see me it's so dark uh we're gonna go swimming in the pool i haven't been swimming in the pool for ages uh, I know we're going in the lake in the mornings and doing some sessions there, but it's gone a bit cold in the mornings now, so and a bit dark. So we're back at the pool with a gang, and we're gonna do some drills. So let's go. Well, there you are. It's a bit brighter now, but uh, first pool session back in months. So I've been putting it off for you. I've been going to the lake a lot, working on my endurance, but now with Glynis on the weekend which is a 400 meter pool. Just wanted to get some uh, work back in the pool and just trying to do my sort of, you know, bit of, bit, 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 couple of faster sessions ready for Portugal. So yeah, get ready for a nice 70.3 workout Don's with later. So Tuesday morning done. Now let's carry on the day. So I just finished work for today and I'm just making some food ready for tonight after my Zwift session. My partner is on a 12 hour shift and my parents are away. So I've been handed the role of chef tonight and I decided to make spag ball. My favorite part is the Worcestershire sauce. I'm just drowning it in this because I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's all good to go for after finish tonight. Um, the other thing as well is I've been using a bit of the book 
but Scratch sent me this book, so it's basically sort of flavoured and sort of nice food to eat while trying to be healthy. And I probably haven't used it as much as I probably would like this year, but I'm going to try and do it over the winter. I've done a couple of the smaller sort of meals throughout my lunch breaks and stuff. But yeah, it's a really good book, so I'll put the link to that, it's really good. It's your daily ingredients as well, so it's nothing like too expensive or too away from what you probably got in your cupboards right now. It just takes a little bit to read it and know what you like and don't like and yeah, get on with it basically. Yeah, this is finished now, I'm just going to do a bit of a clean up and then going to jump on the turbo trainer for tonight and get a probably an hour to an hour and a half session in, I think. I got roughly that on Training Peak, so we'll have a look. Wednesday morning, just woken up and I don't feel very well. <laughs> uh, pretty much woken up with like sore throat, struggled to sort of sleep last night because of it and I got a bit of a headache so just having a lot of cups of teas and herbal teas and things today and, and I'm, just, I'm just not going to push myself. I only had a hour run in for today this morning so yeah, just going to rest, relax and just hopefully let my body get better very quickly instead of trying to overstress myself and stress put stress on the body so plenty of cups of tea and just gonna have a relaxing midweek day so see you tomorrow okay so i've just finished work for today and i'm just doing one of the tasks which needs to be done for the weekend and ready for portugal and as you can see there's a different color tire on the rear wheel to the front. So Silverfish have sent me a set of their Michelin Pro Cups. I also get my PT sealant from them and my scratch nutrition from them as well. So they've been a massive help this year. So I've got my sealant ready as well. I use it on the mountain bike, so I trust it. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna do the front one now. afternoon I've just come down sort of just to do a nice little session to Glyneath and back it's also the bike route for Sunday for the Glyneath triathlon so and to get my sort of eye in for it I know it pretty well but just to make sure I'm curry at the, at the turn point obviously just to make sure the bike's okay so yeah just come up for a nice little ride and hopefully should be okay Sort of return leg done behind me there just around in the corner there's the swimming bath so that's what we're going to do in the 400 meter pool swim and then you've got to come out over the road you've got to put a foot down just to check for traffic because it's going to be a live road just for safety which is fair enough i run behind me and out there and you've got a nice long street and uh this is also the run as well so you've got to come back in transition out you've got to come across the road again just stop look for traffic down here and then where that car's going left there's uh, like a little 3k sort of circle route and then back down here across and then into the finish so yeah it's going to be quite fun actually it's going to be a little bit difficult here because of safety but there's going to be plenty of marshals and it's going to be as you know safe as possible which is good and uh, I'm looking forward to it <laughs> it's really warm didn't realize how warm it's going to be so I'm sweating in sort of mild weather sort of clothing, SPR gilet and some other things so so that's going to be the make or break bit for most of the 
the bike leg and probably the race so I'm gonna practice that bit now. Okay, so that's the bike route to the recce done. The first half going up to the turn point is definitely a lot easier. It's a lot quicker. I did have a bit of a tailwind as well, but certainly a lot quicker. And the only real difficulty about where your heart rate does go a lot quite high is the sort of groundhog climb. So it's from the pub basically to the turn point. Um, it's not very long, it's like it's not super steep, but it's like sort of like a bit, bit like a stair set and it does get quite tough at the very very end so you just got to manage that climb really well the return leg is certainly a lot hillier um, but it's not like there's like one sharp hill all the rest is super gradual but just goes on for a long time so you just gotta be wary not to go full bore on the first part and to keep the lights on so i got my nog lights uh, on the front and back um, just for a bit of safety as well so yeah that was actually quite nice so i'm gonna spin home now and eat and rest up and probably watch a bit of tv why not? Okay, that's morning swim done at my local swim bars. Um, it's not as nice as Abra Abram, but it was easier to get here this morning because I'm literally like a three minute drive away. So I just done a 500 meter warm up and then 10 times 100 sort of threshold efforts just under that really. So um, yeah, it's not too bad. I was doing like 140s for the first three or four and then going to like comfortable 148 for the rest so that's normal for me so yeah not too bad if i can get under seven minutes on sunday i'd be happy but yeah i mean trying to swim in jams this week i normally swim in like cheat shorts which is like wetsuit material or i normally swim in like a wetsuit so i'm not used to the sinking feeling you've got to kick a lot more so i've been trying to get used to that ready for sunday but yeah not a bad little session there now Time to get back home and go to work and I'm also working tonight so nothing for training tonight and just uh, have a relaxing sort of afternoon so before work so yeah that's not too bad and then I got one more session tomorrow running quite a short one tomorrow and then we got the race Sunday but that'll be a separate video so um, one more session to go this week and I'll take you along for that one with me tomorrow. So worked last night, uh, gigged and played guitar uh, for a couple of hours and then I worked with my main job today then for the health board charity. So I'm a bit tired, been on my feet all day. So just thought I'd bring the dog out for a walk instead, just to get my legs stretched ready for tomorrow. And um, yeah, take it easy basically. But I had about a half hour session in, but I'm just doing a little half hour walk, stretch your legs out and uh, yeah, trying to keep up with him. So yeah, this is it for this video. So if you like this, uh, please follow, subscribe, whatever everyone else says. And um, yeah, I'm going to do the race video tomorrow on a separate one. And then I'll do a separate Portugal 70.3 video after that. So, and then over the winter, um, I'll release some plans about next year, which is going to be not just triathlon, dipping back into the mountain biking stuff. So, yeah. Oh, shit, the cows. Let's go. <laughs>